People self-publishing books is not a new thing, but it's one thing to send it out to your library, your literary work, I should say, to the world via the internet, and it's another to just send it out to the world by just putting that book on a shelf. Earlier this year, we met a Boise kid who became a full-fledged author by putting the prosperity of his prose into his own hands, literally, and he became a publishing prodigy known worldwide all by himself. Ada Lake Hazel, this is Tara. How can I help you? The Lake Hazel branch of the Ada County Library. What's the name of it? Is a bastion for books. Uh, I think it's between 40 and 50,000 books at this location. We have books for adults, books for children, books for kids that are learning to read, picture books. So yeah, all kinds of stuff. Which is why eight-year-olds like Dylan Helbig. This is your library? Yes. Feel right at home. Well, not like my my library, but I don't own, I don't own it. Except Dylan does possess a capacity for creativity. And then this is the part where Santa comes. Dylan. I like the pictures. Likes to write his own books. One day in winter? Yeah. It was Christmas. So he has been writing books since he was about five years old. His latest. Um, it's The Adventures of Dylan Hobick's Christmas. He finished last month. That's you. Yeah. <laughs> By Dylan Hobick himself. Taking an empty journal a gift from his grandma. And me unwrapping a Nerf gun. And filling it in just two days. Even though it has 81 pages. So you're in the book? Yes, I am in the book. Who else is in the book? My mom. Who else? Santa. Who else? A giant turkey. OK, so what does Dylan do in the book? So first he decorates the tree. And the star has a bomb. No, I think someone overnight put a bomb in there, and it just exploded. And? I get sucked into the portal. And I go into the, the very first Thanksgiving. Ah, the giant turkey. Everything about it was a, a bit crazy. Got it. I know some of the words. Writing a book. Yeah, because some of the words are my sight words. Wasn't what impressed his mom the most. Um, so this one I just figured was like any other one that he has written. It was what Dylan did with his book that caught her by surprise. I didn't know this was his ultimate plan. His plan he put in play days later. I've been wanting to put a book in a library since I was five. But that takes editors and publishers and distributors, doesn't it? You know, you can't just put your book on the shelf. Or can you? Well, Dylan did. There was a lot of librarians that I had to get past, so do you know what I did? What'd you do? I covered this part and covered the back with my body and just snuck it in like this. I came in, I came in running, and then I started to walk, and then I came in this aisle, no, th wait, this aisle. And then I put my book right here. Complete with stickers on the spine so it would look like it belonged. And the next time I came back, it was gone. That night at home, he told his mom. I thought that we had lost it, you know, and I figured somebody would probably find it and put it in lost and found. I think my mom called the library. His uh, parents were worried that um, we would find his book and we would get rid of it which was an unfounded fear. <laughs> because if there's ever a place a book would be safe, it would be here. <laughs> True. Well, they found it. I think it was in our story section. And the librarians? Every page is illustrated. Loved it. Yeah, and it's a, it's a good story. And they wanted it. Dylan's book definitely fit all of the criteria that we would look for um, to include a book in our collection. So with permission, they processed it put on the proper stickers, and now The Adventures of Dylan Helbig's Christmas by Dylan himself is a full-fledged library book. Now it's in the system. Uh, anybody with a library card can check out the book. You may have to wait a few weeks at this point. There's actually a waiting list. People want to check it out. So there's like four people in line. <laughs> and it's just like mind-blowing. Chapter four. Not bad for an eight-year-old who's been waiting to get a book in the library since he was five. And now I did it. Yeah, it's not the normal process for including a book into a library collection, but in this scenario, um, it worked for Dylan. And he puts his mind to something and he makes it happen, so. I always be sneaky, like how I get chocolate. Doesn't surprise me at all that he did this. And this is page 81. We'll be right back in the next book, the end. Okay, so there are several updates since we first met Dylan. Yes, he did write a sequel. Not exactly a sequel, though. But he's done more than one book. He finished The Jacket Eating Closet and Dylan and the Missing Fairy Tale. Those books are now done. And he's working on a third. 
Dylan and the Cyborgs. Dylan became famous since last February, by the way, appearing on the Today Show, Good Morning America, Inside Edition. He was in People magazine, in the Washington Post, and in the New York Times. He was on NPR, the BBC. But get this, this past summer, probably his biggest accomplishment. He helped teach a class for young authors at the Lake Hazel Library. And because of that, they have included an entire section for self-published kids. So now they don't have to, quote, always be sneaky, like the way Dylan gets his chocolate, to get their books in the library. Check it out. There's that, look at that, The Feeling of the Monsters. That's one of the books. My person is sad. There's even one called The Interplanetary Conflict. Look out, George Lucas, he's coming after you. Okay, so how does one get their hands on The Adventures of Dylan Helbig's Christmas by Dylan himself? Unfortunately, you can't anymore, at least not right now. Dylan's parents told me they pulled the book because they were afraid it would get lost or damaged. And when they decided to do this, the wait list for that book was 10 years long. Dylan would be more than twice his age before he got that book back. So they pulled it to keep it safe, and they're now in talks with some publishers to get a couple copies made so they can return it to the shelves of the Lake Hazel Library.